Now, some important points to remember about therapeutic hypothermia. So it's important to start it within six hours, avoid hyperthermia, and uh, passive cooling is mainly to avoid hyperthermia as we discussed. Amplitude integrated EEG is not essential, but it's a very useful tool. And if the baby needs paralysis, it becomes essential because you can't identify seizures in a paralyzed baby. Of course, we don't use paralysis routinely and very rarely that we use it. Mild encephalopathy can progress, but if it doesn't and stays mild, it's still safer to maintain cooling because of the long-term impact and possible medical legal implications. So if you have decided to cool, but the encephalopathy doesn't progress, most of us continue cooling for 72 hours. The target range for cooling is 33 to 34 degrees. So 33.5 is the set temperature we want. And cooling typically continues for 72 hours and rewarming is gradual after 72 hours, over 6 to 12 hours. And uh, there are some relative contraindications where you may decide to rewarm the baby in between if there is severe pulmonary hypertension, not responding to your routine treatment, severe coagulopathy, severe cardiorespiratory compromise. So you have to discuss with the family that if you continue cooling, it may be life threatening. It's not common. I mean, I've seen two or three babies where I had to stop cooling because of these issues. But uh, you need to keep that in mind and be open to stopping cooling if it's compromising the overall care.